Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, the topic of the video is going to just give you a little bit of an update on my bold spot. And since it's grew back, what I did to have it actually grow back because I was really losing hope. So if you keep watching, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a backstory and how I got my bold spot, what I did to fix it, and kind of do now a lens check on where it's at, understanding that right now I have a lot of gel and you'll understand why. Pardon the schoolgirl look, I just add a freshly trimmed hair that I did yesterday and I just needed it to be even on both sides so I had pigtails that I ended up keeping because today's wash day and it's been nine days I really don't feel like doing another style so a little bit of backstory on my bold spot if you've seen a, a video of mine previously where I talked about it on my watch me struggle episode but if you haven't I'll link it up here I did a video where I was reading all the ingredients of the current hair product I was using uh, looking for silicones, parabens, and all those bad quote-unquote ingredients and try to kind of get a snapshot of what I was using as I started my natural hair journey. And I had a scarf that was tied around and like wrapped back and that created a knot right here that I kept at work all day. I didn't realize how tight it was. I didn't realize throughout the day that it was kind of rubbing and it kind of like created a pressure point that was kind of bothering me, but I kept moving it. So that was mid-December and a few days later slash week, I just went ahead and did a low bun for a Christmas party I was going to go to. And when I parted my hair in the middle, that's when I kind of realized there was just some hair missing. It wasn't a full blown like big hole. It just kind of striked as odd to me. It was like, hmm, I wonder if it's just, you know, like winter roots or something like that. It didn't really bother me that much. But then when I went to St. Martin and I saw my mom, I kind of was like, mom, do you want to just check this out real quick? Is it a bold spot? And she's like, yeah, your hair's not there. And that's kind of where I, I didn't sort of freak out, but I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I had a bull spot. So that's the backstory. We are now in June and it has grown back quite a bit. Honestly, I was very, very, very nervous because the first, I would say month, nothing was happening and it was very smooth. It was not a bold spot that was kind of like broken hair where you can still see that the hair was just kind of like broken off. So I started to get a little panicky, not panicky, cause I didn't want it to obsess over it, but it just made me a little self-conscious. And to be honest, I'm not a very big person that, I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense right now, but I'm not a big person that styles her hair with a, a part in the middle. I just don't necessarily think it fits my face that well. I'm just, I kind of always, I've been used to just having parts either to the left or to the right, but it just made me a lot more self-conscious that now I couldn't do middle parts when I wanted to. So what did I do to help stimulate the growth of my hair on my bold spot area? I didn't want to panic. That is something that I kind of hate doing because when you stress, your hair responds to stress and I wanted to avoid that. I'm also very conscious that it's going to take time and I needed to be patient and there was no overnight thing that I could do because I knew what happened. I think I would have been a lot more panicked if I didn't know what had happened and I would have been scared to have it happen again. But I knew kind of what led me to having one. So I kind of went ahead and was like, all right, now time to fix it. What I did, I kind of researched what were the best oils or things you could do and I kind of came up with a little mixture of things so that is what I'm going to show you today because it's been working for me and it actually is great for the rest of your scalp to stimulate hair growth anyways. So you're going to need a carrier oil. That is kind of like the base whenever you do an oil blend. I started and I used the jojoba oil just because I feel like I'm just much more comfortable with this oil. It is. It goes on really neat, it spreads well, it's not too sticky. I've been using it around my edges regularly and stuff, so I decided to use that as my carrier oil. Between one ounce and one ounce and a half of this. After that, I decided to use some black castor oil. I took the extra dark because that was what was on sale in my beauty store, to be honest. It could have been the regular one. Jamaican black castor oil is known for what it does to your hair in terms of thickening it nourishing it, promoting gro hair growth and all that stuff. So I kind of feel like it's kind of known in the natural hair community that Jamaican black castor oil is what you should swear by pretty much if you're trying to grow your hair. So I put, I think half an ounce of this in that bottle as well. So I had a total of two ounces of carrier oils. 
Then I use three types of essential oils. I use some lavender oil. Lavender oil is known for stimulating blood circulation, which is exactly what you need in an area that is missing kind of hair because it, it's going to stimulate hair growth. So I did about four drops of this in my bottle. I also use two other oils. One is peppermint and the other one is tea tree. Both of these I used, I think, three or four drops, so I think four drops of all the essential oils, to be quite honest. Peppermint is also known to stimulate blood circulation, so I just wanted my blood to be, you know, stimulated to circulate on my scalp to just kind of get this hair thing going. And tea tree oil, in the context of just hair growth, is known for a lot of things in terms of essential oils and stuff. I won't bore you with that. But specifically for hair growth, it is um, good to unclog your follicles and uh, nourish your roots. So I put four drops of this, four drops of that, four drops of lavender, my carrier oils, and I put everything in this little bottle and I would just shake. And as far as using it, I would use it every morning and every night, specifically on my scap or the part where I had my bold spot and I would just massage and thankfully it wasn't too big it wasn't you know like at a place where I couldn't really see it was really smack dab in the middle so it was kind of easy to find you would just dab a little bit and less in the morning than at night just because of the smell of the essential oils I don't really want my entire head to smell like peppermint lavender I mean all these essential oils all day so you would just put a few drops and then I would just massage for I don't know two to three minutes and then I would repeat at night. Um, so I did that for, I think I'm still doing it. So I've been doing this since I've discovered this whole thing. And I was, like I said, mid-December and it is now June and I'm still doing this. And I'm actually using this oil on my entire scalp because why not? I mean, it really helped with my bold spot. So I don't see why I wouldn't use it for my entire scalp. And I use it um, when I need to rehydrate, moisturize, my scalp, but also as a pre-poo, like when I'm ready to wash my hair, so it's the prep for my scalp to be kind of like, I'll have some tension to it and work on it for my wash day. I kind of put a lot of oil everywhere and I massage my scalp entirely for about, I don't know, like five to 10 minutes, like that. So I shook it already and I'm just using my camera here. Just put a little bit and honestly, I would just go like that, that's all. I will go all around the area just to make sure that it's covering everything and that the hair that is around the bald spot is also getting thicker because if it helps hide it and I don't want to pull too much tension around the area that already has a bald spot. So there you go. That is what I would do every day, uh, morning and night. And I know the moment you are waiting for is to actually see where we are at. So I am going to try and I'm actually going to go to the bathroom real quick to just wet this area so I can kind of like play around with it. I don't want to just like unstuck it from all the eco styler I put. I'll be right back. So I have lost a little bit of light here just so you guys can see. But this is how much it grew back. So this is five months worth of growth for a completely smooth spot so i'm not mad at that at all but it is tough to style because it why well, and i've been picking at it right now but it is kind of rebellious you know it's it needs a little bit of a uh, care right here and that is why i kind of put my eco styler and it actually won't let me have a neat part because it always gets tangled a little bit, but it's a problem I'm happy to have. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you are also struggling with a little bald spot that decided to come out of nowhere, I hope these tips will help you grow it back. And of course, I put everything in the description down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time.